What's going on guys? It's Mariano. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about something related to Samsung Pay, but it's not going to be the usual video. I like to go out different places and I like to be outdoors, which is why I'm outside right now. But in this video, I wanted to talk about a service that Samsung recently added to their Samsung Pay application and it's called Samsung Pay Cash. Now, what is Samsung Pay Cash? You're probably familiar with the concept already. Think about things like Cash App, like Venmo, like Zelle. Um, if you use Tap and Pay already, like Apple Pay, like Google Pay Send, it's a functionality where you're able to upload your own funds from your bank account or from a debit card, put it in their virtual account, and then send it to another person so that you can pay them money. And then they can receive it, and usually they can transfer it back into their own personal bank account. It works pretty much seamlessly with any of those services. Some charge fees, some don't, but that's besides the point. Now, Samsung Pay has finally released something, finally released something, that is supposed to be a competitor to these services called Samsung Pay Cash. You know, it works the same way in their application. You can add money to an account, you can send it to another user, or that user can request money from another person, and then that money, once it gets transferred, they have it there available to spend. Now, there are some really important things to note with this service, things I really, really don't like, and that's what this video is gonna be on. So I hope you guys enjoy it, find it useful. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out, but let's get right into this. So, just real quick, there, there are a lot of geese behind me. So I'm not gonna keep walking this way. I'm not trying to get attacked by 50 geese. Anyway, just getting right into this. Let me show you guys how the application looks. Um, with the Samsung Pay Cash service, and then I'll show you how the car looks and everything on here. So when you open your Samsung Pay application, as soon as you get in there, if you don't have it set up already, you'll see here on the top, there's going to be something in this general area about setting up a Samsung Pay Cash account, learning more about it. Just click on it, follow the prompts, and then once it's installed and set up and you've got all of that taken care of, you can just click on the pay tab here and it's going to be a new card that you'll be seeing in your list of cards called samsung pay cash debit it's basically a prepaid debit card from samsung pay and this is where all your funds go when you upload it to the account so once you do that uh, you would just click money to add your money to the account you can pick a certain dollar amount pick the credit or debit card to upload it from uh, you could also add money directly to from your bank um, by using this information here and then once you go ahead and do that, you'll see a new balance here when you click refresh. Now, if you want, you can send money quickly from here as well, or you can go ahead, verify your biometrics to start a tap and pay payment with the card, which is pretty neat. Um, but then with the rest of the functionality, you just click on the card You see the full list here. You can add money, send money, request money. There's your balance again. Click on one of these options here to see more information about your card or your card number. And then you can scroll down and see your recent transactions. And you'll see somewhere around here is where I made my big mistake. You see a plus 248 and a minus. So let's get into that a little bit and talk about exactly what happened there and why that transaction completely failed and why that was the moment I realized that Samsung Pay Cash is not finished and it's not a service that you should be investing your time and your money in quite yet. There's some more work to be done, there's some more features that need to be added, and there are some things that need to be fixed. So just to give you guys the quick rundown, basically what ended up happening, long story summarized, was it was bill time and there was a bill that someone paid for me and it would cost about $250, that was the amount. And that's what I needed to reimburse them at this point. So I said, hey, Samsung Pay Cash is out. This is awesome. Let's go ahead, let's try this. I get really excited when new tech features come out, especially if they're with a service that I personally already use. So instead of using Cash App or one of the other things that I also have, I decided let's go ahead and use Samsung Pay Cash. So I had them get the card, download Samsung Pay Cash, install the update, all that good stuff. And then I uploaded $250 for the bill onto my prepaid debit card, sent it over to them, and they received it. Now, here comes the part that threw us completely off. They then went through the application trying to figure out, okay, now I have the money received, how do I cash out? How do I take the money and add it back to my bank account? Now, you would assume Samsung Pay Cash allows you to do this because every other service that it competes with, Google Pay Send, Apple Pay, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, Facebook Messenger sending money through there even, allows you to take that money and get it back directly into your bank account so you have your money back we quickly found out that samsung pay cash does not allow you to cash out once you put the money into that samsung pay cash virtual account it is stuck in samsung's cloud 
on somebody's card whether it's yours whether it's the person that you send the monies to it is stuck there the only way that you can use the money at that point is to spend it now just think about that for a second with apple pay when someone sends you money you can take that money put it in your bank account with google pay send if someone sends you money you can easily transfer that right back onto your card and it's an instant free transfer with cash app with venmo with zelle with any other popular service facebook messengers send and pay money feature you can transfer that money back into its respective bank account and have your money back in your hands to where you can have physical cash but with this prepaid card the money is stuck on this prepaid card now to me that is absolutely ridiculous the person i was sending the money to does not use samsung pay like i do so they didn't want to have to worry about going out and thinking okay i have to use my phone to actually spend my money they just wanted their money back that's reasonable and then in my case i didn't really want to deal with that either i don't use samsung pay everywhere despite me loving the service sometimes i just want to pull my card out and so to not have my 300 dollars cash back was just crazy to me so i was really frustrated um, because what ended up happening was now in order to get this person their 300 dollars back this money stuck on the account i had to go into cash app upload another $300 and send it to them that way so they could have their money. So instead of just spending $300, I spent $600 and $300 I now had to buy things with. I didn't have any more bills coming up. I had just paid them all. So they were just loaded up on this account. So I said, you know what? Let's just make the best of this situation. So I went ahead and decided I'm going to buy myself a nice few things, tech, some things for my computer, maybe do some in-app purchases, buy some DLC for video games that I play. And so I went ahead and tried to do that. Now here's where my second problem came. So when I went ahead to go ahead and buy those things, I quickly, quickly realized that Samsung's security on this card is way too high. Whenever I tried to purchase DLC from a video game, it would throw a security flag and would lock out the account and I was not able to use the card until I called Samsung Pay, verified all my personal information, and then they had to, for some security reason, call me back every time afterward to verify it even further, and then they would release the account for me to be able to use it again. That whole process takes about 15 minutes and it's really, really annoying. This happened almost every single time that I tried to make a purchase with this card. And that's why I'm saying, if you don't wanna to have to deal with these two things, don't use this card. Go ahead, use Apple Pay if you have an iPhone um, as well. Use Google Pay Send if you have an Android phone. It will work on the Samsung phone, any Note, any Galaxy phone that you have. Google Pay Send does work as well. Use Cash App, use Venmo, use Zelle, use anything else. If you don't want your money permanently locked onto a prepaid card, up in Samsung's cloud account, instead of having the option to get your money back into your bank account, or if you don't want to have to deal with calling Samsung's support every single time you try to make a purchase somewhere that's not a major retailer. Because then I tried to make a few in-store purchases as well, and it threw security flags there too. Any place that wasn't really widely majorly known didn't work. So I said, you know what, let me try this. Let me try to go around the system here and just add this card to Cash App and see if I can then get my funds back some kind of way like that. So I tried to add it to Cash App that through another security flag. I was at that point so frustrated. I ended up calling Samsung Pay a total of five, six, maybe seven times in a week, just trying to spend my money. And so at that point I said, you know what? Forget this, I'm just gonna go to like a Best Buy or something and buy just two expensive things that will cost $300 and forget about this card and never use it again until they fix that software. And I did tell tech support on the phone to tell them. I'm like, hey, I'm going to make a video on this. I usually get a couple hundred thousand views. So you need to update this and you need to fix this or else I'm just going to blast it out because this is insane. Nobody should have to deal with this. And there's been no update. So I hope you guys find that helpful. Um, just really be warned. You can't get your money back from the account. You can't transfer it back to yourself. And then also it's going to throw a ton of security flags if you're not using it anywhere popular. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Go ahead, drop some comments below, leave some feedback. Um, hopefully you'll subscribe on the way out, but let me know what you guys think of this. Um, have you had a similar experience? Have you ended up in a situation where this service didn't work for you, where it locked you out? Were you called by surprise when you put your money in there and couldn't get it back? Um, just let me know what you think. Any feedback, I read all the comments and I try and respond uh, where applicable. Um, like I said, the next video is gonna be on Samsung Pay, but using 
the watch. I've got the Galaxy Active Watch 2, and I've actually never personally used Samsung Pay on the watch yet. So it's gonna be the first time for me too. And I'm personally curious if it's gonna be awkward at all um, and how well it's actually gonna work using your watch, putting it to the reader, maybe going through drive-throughs, asking to pay with your watch. So I'll put that on in the next video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.